guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a get ready with me video i actually wanted to film because i haven't done it like in a week or so so i'm here going to sit down and chit chat with you guys and get ready and we're going to talk about how my week went so i'm going to try to do these videos of how my week went we're going to go back to doing our uh loner mukbangs on wednesdays i'm gonna try to do that since the kids are going back to school um it is going to be a little bit difficult for me because i will be having to travel to three different schools and i don't know how that's gonna work out so we will see how that goes so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my followers like always i'm actually running out of my cover fx primer so i might have to switch to another one for now because it doesn't have any more so maybe this one has some yeah this one still has some all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face and i'm using the uh cover effects blurring primer the old version not was well, the same version it's just like with the old packaging the other one has a new packaging but i'm done with it so I'm gonna go ahead and prime this wherever I have um, pores that's where I want to apply this blurring primer oh my god this blurring primer so that none of my pores pop out when I am applying my foundation so I would normally wanted to do a video using the new urban decay stay naked weightless liquid foundation it's a 24 hour wear and they gave me the color 50NN. So let me tell you guys a little bit how I got this foundation. Uh, Urban Decay invited me to their event that they were having. And Lizzo was going to perform. I really didn't pay attention to it. I was just kind of excited that I was out of the house. I haven't been out in a while. So I decided to go with my friend and they color match you. The only problem was that they color match you in the dark. I don't know how they expected that to work out, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know, whatever. So I'm gonna show you guys, and I did already contacted them so they can help me out and give me a new uh, foundation because I really wanna try it. I did try this foundation already, but I had to mix another color with it. And I don't see the point of that. Like if I wanna see how the foundation is, I definitely wanna try just the foundation by itself without having to mix it with another color. Just so you guys can see the difference. When I went to Morphe, I did get color match and they gave me the color F2.20. And they gave me, uh, this one is from the Urban Decay. They matched me to the color 50NN in medium and neutral. Is it neutral medium? Neutral, I can't even see guys. I'm just like so blind. It's a neutral something, I don't know, whatever. But this is definitely not my color. It's a little bit darker. So they are going to send me new ones, um, but so i'm gonna go have to go with the morphe one i really like the morphe one though so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my face all right and then i'm gonna grab my spongy and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some setting spray onto it because i do like to have my sponge to have some of the setting spray just to help me All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this into my skin. I'm going to grab a little pump of this so you guys can see between the color because honestly, this matches my neck like really good. And this one, I did try it out and I was like, okay, I might be able to have, I may, might get away with it. But after I try to um, <laughs> blend that in, definitely I was, it, it was not working out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this into my skin. I really like the coverage on this foundation. Um, it just gives me full coverage and I really like that. It says that it's a well, it actually it does say it's a full coverage foundation. I thought it was a medium coverage, but no, it's actually full coverage. And I really, really like this foundation. 
So I'm definitely going to go back and get another one. Uh, my mom is using the foundation from Morphe as well. She really likes it. Especially because she has a lot of um, sunspots. So it helps to cover them up. So I just want to bring it down to my neck. Put some on my lips just to cancel the color. And then on my lids. All right. So I just use my finger to kind of blend it into my hairline just so that my hair doesn't turn my foundation color. All right. So for concealer, I've been really liking the Morphe one. They gave me the color C1.65. And I asked them that I wanted this just to um, brighten up under the eyes. So that's why I got this one. But definitely if you're gonna, gonna use something to correct, you gotta correct first and then get a concealer to cover up any dark circles or anything like that. So just going to do this and quickly blend it out because I feel like this concealer dries quickly. All right. As always, I'm gonna go with my setting powder. You guys already know. I don't know if you guys are tired of it, but I honestly cannot live without that powder. I just feel like it just does increase on me. It makes my foundation stay on all day and it keeps me oil free. And I'm very oily, so I hate it. So I'm definitely gonna keep using this powder, but you can use whatever you guys have. I'm definitely just gonna stick to whatever works for me. I'm gonna have to move my mic and I'm gonna have to put it somewhere close to me because it's kind of in my way right now so um, it's going to have to stay there because I have no other choice <laughs> all right so just going to sit around my nose area that's where I mostly get oily all right so i'm just setting i like to go with a bigger brush and just kind of go back and set the rest of my face so i went to the mall last week because um we are getting ready for the kids to go back to school and i ordered myself a gold um chain that says tacos and the font was horrible so i had to have them redo it so hopefully they have it ready for me soon because I am dying to wear my new necklace. I just didn't like the lettering on it. So I was like, you know what, I'm paying for it. I do not want to have to keep something that I'm not going to be happy with. And then I'm paying for it. So I might as well tell them, you know what, I don't like it. So they were not mad about it. They were fine. So they were nice to return it in make a new one so i'm gonna go with morphe's um staycation you guys know i've been really liking this a lot i'm going to apply this i've been actually looking for another brush to apply my bronzer but i can't find it so this will have to do for now i'm gonna go ahead and contour and bronze up So I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to make my face appear a little bit slimmer. Um, I have a really round face, so even I need a little help. And then I have a little bit of a double chin, well not a little bit, 
I don't know. I never see it, but then when I take pictures, I can see myself like, oh crap, I have a double chin. I have extra fat here. I have this, I have that. I'm like, what the hell? I don't see that when I'm filming. <laughs> so I'm just going to contour a little bit. I kind of like to go a little heavy. I will be going back and um, blending everything out because a lot of people tell me, why do you go so heavy on your bronzer? And I'm like, um, because then it disappears on me, I feel, and then I like to go back and um, blend out everything before, so, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and I feel like this brush makes me lose a lot of the product because it, it's just too big for the little compound, so. All right, going back with that same brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything out just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. All right. Whew. It's really hot in these lights, guys, so it's taking me a little bit to kind of like, we can do this. All right, so for blush, I really don't have like a good blush i always feel like i have to be switching around to see what i find sorry my memory got full and i didn't realize it so i'm gonna use a laura geller as a my blush i think i would have liked this one if it would have been like a corally color because i'm really into corally this is more like a pinkish color but it's still pretty so all right guys so this is the look that i came up with i am dying of the hotness and i feel like there's something in my eye but anyways last two videos ago i did a oh there's something in my eye. um i did a video with the morphe's 35 h palette and my ass forgot to post the little things where i'm showing you guys what i used um so a lot of people are coming for me and this is the palette that i'm going to be using um to create this look right here i've been feeling all these grungy colors on the side so i decided to come out with this grungy look i really like it especially because um i'm wearing a tupac shirt <laughs> so I, I was feeling kind of like hey like yeah so i was like I'm gonna do something like that i really like the blue the blues always make my eyes pop a lot more so you guys can see the difference like hi 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 so we're gonna go ahead and i i added a dramatic lash you guys know i haven't really worn dramatic lashes but you know what i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and become that bitch again that i used to be when i used to do all these crazy dramatic makeup looks so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna start off with a, what is it? No, wasn't this one first. The first one is a Morphe M513. And I'm just going to try to show you guys because if I forget, I'm gonna be so mad again. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using. I'm going to start off with this shadow right here and that's gonna go right onto my crease. And I'm using a fluffy brush. Oh, before I forget, let me go ahead and put some setting uh, powder under the eyes so if I get any fallout this is where it's going to go so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this color right onto my crease and as always you can definitely bring it upper or down I like my eyeshadows really high up so you guys can do whatever you guys like you just gotta make sure you guys blend everything out because if you don't it's just gonna look crazy so just make sure you guys blend so i'm just going to make sure that this is as dark as i want it so i want to make sure that the crease is the most dark so i'm just going back and forth then i'm going with another morphe m433 brush and i'm going with the turquoise color from that palette and i'm going to go ahead and apply this right onto right where the crease is at where that uh dark blue ends and just kind of blend that out then you want to go ahead and grab your blending brush and start blending that harsh line out oh 
like I said, I like to go high up. You don't have to go as high as I am. I'm going to apply another color that's going to bring it down a little bit. So I'm not really worried about that. I'm going back with that same dark color again and reapplying it right onto the crease just to make sure that it's really dark. Next, I'm going with the M166 brush from Morphe. I'm going to spray some setting spray onto it. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I'm going to go with this shimmery color right here. This one. It's a dark bluish color. And that one's going to go all over the lid. So I'm just pulling a little bit and following my natural crease. Just so it gives me that cut crease look I'm gonna go back grab some more just to darken it up a little bit and there so if I go like this you can definitely see the cut crease that's what we want you can definitely go darker then I'm gonna go ahead and grab another Morphe M166 brush and I'm going with this darker blue here and I'm just going to place this in the outer corner because I really want the outer corner to be really dark. So I'm just packing that here in the outer V. I'm good with that. After that, I'm gonna grab another brush from Morphe, the M166 brush. I have a lot of these brushes. I do have a video, a video coming up for you guys of my favorite Morphe brushes because I know you guys have asked me. Um, so it will come. I just need some time to like gather because if you guys would see all the brushes that I have it's just a little bit too much so I want to kind of think of what I'm going to do from there I'm going to go ahead and grab this blue right here and I'm going to apply this right onto the center of the look right here so we're going to have three different kind of blues so it's going to be like a little darker blue the light baby blue and then this dark non shimmery color here there we go I'm good with that all right, so moving on, we're going to go ahead and apply our inner corner and our crease, our brow bone color. I'm going to grab, I think this is the brush that I grabbed. I just want to make sure because I have them all like set up here. And then I kind of just look. Yes, I'm guessing it's this one. So I'm going to grab this one, spray a little bit of setting spray. And then I'm going to grab a little bit on my brush. And I'm going to start applying this right onto my brow bone. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then start just blending that in. And that's just going to give me that pop that I want on my outer corner. So what I'm going to do is go back with that same blue and kind of just bring it in. Then I'm going with this weird brush. I have no idea. I think I got this at IMATS or yeah, it was IMATS a long time ago when they barely started. I'm going to spray some setting spray on it. Then I'm going to grab that same color I applied on my brow bone. I'm going to apply it on this brush and apply it right in the inner corner right here just to give it a pop. You guys can see. Right there. Make it pop. All right. So I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Then I go back with that same darker blue and just kind of blend that out so it doesn't look too harsh. I'm good with that. Moving on, I'm going to grab this Time Los Angeles brush. And I'm going to dip into that first blue we applied on the crease. That one is going to be our uh, bottom color. So we're going to bring it um, almost all the way. And we're just going to leave a little bit of um, space there. So... And then I'm going to grab another Morphe brush, go with the darker blue, and apply this right in the outer corner just to darken that up. All right. For the waterline, I'm going to go ahead with the Urban Decay pencil. This one is called Deep End. And I'm going to apply this right in the waterline. Like so. And then I'm going to go back with that same baby blue shadow that I used in the center. This one is going to go right here. Hopefully you guys can see that because I'm having difficulties. Okay. All right. 
that looks really good i'm gonna go ahead and clean out the fallout as you guys can see that helps a lot when you do have fallout so you just want to make sure you clean it out i'm gonna go back with a little bit of that blue and just kind of bring it in a little bit because i feel like it's not really showing as much as this side so i'm gonna go back and apply that blue and then go back again with that um highlight color and just kind of blend it down like so i think i'm happy with that for lashes i'm going to be using the bold makeup lashes i'll link them down below i do have a discount code i appreciate you guys so much for using my discount codes i know you guys have used them you guys send me pictures of it i really appreciate you guys for supporting my taco addiction um, i do have discount codes if you guys do use my discount codes i do get a little bit of commission it just helps me out and it just pushes me to make more videos for you guys so definitely thank you so much for using my discount codes it means so much for the love and support um, so i'll list the information in the down bar with a discount code i'm using bigger is better super stacked um, when i first saw these lashes i was like oh my god they're too big for me but with this look i actually can pull them off so what i like to do is pull them out carefully and then i like to wiggle them i already know that i have to cut a piece of the lash so it fits my eye so i already know my measurement easy to measure is you take them out of the box you place them on your eye and you see how much you have to take off so i can see how much you go ahead and take the outer corner i like to take the outer corner a lot of people like to take the inner corner out just so the outer corner is a lot more um, sticking out but i honestly don't like my inner corner to be all one size so i do take the outer corner part out so i cut a piece i'm gonna go ahead and apply some eyelash glue it's actually drying because i took it out and i left it out for a while so i'm trying to like hurry apply it before i waste the glue so so i'm gonna let this kind of and I like to wiggle it just so that it it turns into the shape of my eye because it's just in the box for a while so I'm gonna let this um I'm gonna go ahead and apply these you guys have no idea how much of a difference a look becomes once you apply lashes it just takes a look to another different level man so i'm just waiting for them to dry so for mascara i will be using the new it lash blowout mascara it looks like a little blow drying brush so i really am enjoying this actually so So for lips, I'm actually going to use a lip plumper. This one is from Grande Lips and this is in their hydration lip plumper. I have no idea what color this is, but it's a nude. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. All right, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know if you guys have been liking these dramatic makeup looks. I actually almost ending this video and I totally forgot to add highlight to this look. Wow, Grace. Wow. So I'm just going to go ahead and add highlight because I know the look doesn't look finished without highlight. So we need to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight. I'm going to be using the morphe m511 brush a um, few people asked me which brush i was using for highlight and i don't know but for some reason i really been liking this one so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlight and the highlight i'm using is the um, mac cosmetics old darling Oh, this lip pumper is working. I can feel it already. Oh. 
all right so this is the final look i really hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe i love you guys so much and i will be talking to you guys in my next video and yeah love you guys bye